Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Humaira Bacha, consultant rheumatologist and American board certified in internal medicine and rheumatology. And I'm here to talk to you about stem cells. Is it worth the hype? And is it something you should consider treating? We want to examine the evidence and hence I'm going to share my screen to show you my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, hopefully it will clear up your concerns and questions. So stem cell treatments includes, um, you know, it's a term which widely is used and many different modalities are included in, under that, including platelet-rich plasma, gold egg, and actual stem cells. So I'll try to explain the difference between all of this. So is it a miracle or is it a myth? If you're reading the popular literature and if you're reading journals, stem cells are curing everything, but we still see sick people around us. Here's The Economist, The Time Magazine, um, where they're talking about cancer being cured by stem cells, the revolution in stem cells, saving our lives, and, and you know, printing new organs, and you know, even a stroke patients walking, uh, curing even paraplegia and people whose uh, spinal cords have been damaged. So is this all true? Probably we have to see whether it's a miracle or myth. Is it a cure or a scam? Is it science or snake oil? And actually the answer lies somewhere in between. There are studies which show benefits with plasma, platelet-rich plasma injections, stem cells, and other treatments. And some studies have failed to show any benefit. And it depends on what you're talking about and what you're trying to cure. So obviously in this talk, I'm going to benefit, I'm going to limit myself to talking about stem cells and these treatments for arthritis um, and regeneration of joints and cure of inflammation in joints. So we will uh, continue to talk, but why should you listen to me and why not listen to all the thousand other sources on Google? The thing is that we've had hundreds of patients treated in our clinic through our orthopedic doctors and myself uh, with stem cells, with plasma, uh, platelet-rich plasma. We have multiple uh, studies. Uh, we have published our data showing the benefits of these treatments. And we have a lot of research and book chapters and uh, peer-reviewed journals, not just journals or articles we're writing, but these are peer-reviewed journals in the scientific literature. As an example, I've just uh, placed two here, and a book chapter I wrote about a uh, use of these orthobiologicals, as they call stem cells, plas platelet-rich plasma, goldic in rheumatology, and also for rheumatoid arthritis. So should you listen to the popular literature, what's going on out there on the, on the internet, or should you listen to us and publications from our doctors. These are multiple, multiple publications from the doctors in our clinic, and um, some of them are here. What are stem cells? Let's just talk about that. So stem cells is what the basic cell of our body, starting with the fertilized egg and the embryo, which then starts, and these are called totipotent stem cells because these are just basic cells and then they can differentiate themselves into different body parts and uh, go on to developing blood cells, and go on to be developing tissues and bone. So these are totipotent, that means they're totally potent and they can differentiate into any type of cells. And then we have the pluripotent that they can develop into multiple types of cells. And then they have the multipotent um, and you know, the, as, as we go on, they become less specialized. So let's just divide these stem cells into two main types as the blood and tissues. Blood, we call them hematopoietic stem cells and the tissues are mesenchymal stem cells. So in the blood or hematopoietic stem cells, they can help treat blood related disorders. We know about bone marrow transplants for, you, for treating solid cancers, blood cancers, bone marrow failure syndrome, and uh, other diseases such as immune deficiencies. So those are the bone marrow transplants where you actually take the stem cells and you, you inject it intravenously into patients and they have great benefits. Now, mesenchymal stem cells, which are the other type of stem cell, which develops from the other tissues, are used now to treat joint disorders, as we talked, but there's also some benefits in treating neurological disorders, optic disorders, strokes, diabetes. There's some investigations going on into this, but for the purpose of my talk, we're going to be just talking about these tissue stem cells, not the blood stem cells. We're talking about tissue stem cells, which are the mesenchymal stem cells, and only talking about it in relation to arthritis. So we get stem cells, we can get them from anywhere. You can get the stem cells from fat, from bone marrow, from your skin, from even from the uterus, and even from, uh, from the umbilical cord. These are called umbilical cord stem cells, which are then being stored uh, to cure cancer, et cetera. So lots of people think or ask whether they should store stem cells and it's very expensive, but if you can afford to do by all means, try to store it. 
So before we talk about stem cells, let's talk about a, a, a slightly less complicated treatment, which we do. Um, this is an office-based procedure, just like having a joint injection. And this is called PRP or platelet-rich plasma. What is this? Let's start off with what our blood is. Our blood constitutes of plasma, red cells, white cells, and platelets. So you know the red cells carry oxygen to and fro the, from the heart, and they're responsible for the hemoglobin oxygenating the blood or oxygenating your tissues. The white cells are mainly your defense mechanism and, and uh, you know, they help your immune system. And the platelets are responsible for clotting, but also for a lot of regenerative and other processes in the body. So in the platelet, when we look at it, uh, the platelet has many, many factors, including um, you know, growth factors, and, um, and uh, <clears throat> they also help with, through these things called alpha granules, which are inside the platelet. These alpha granules then release a lot of what we call cytokines and uh, anti-inflammatory cytokines, which <clears throat> help with fighting inflammation in the body and also helps with regeneration and rebuilding um, rebuilding. So it's very complex. We're not going to get into this, but the reason the platelets are so effective in uh, treating arthritis and inflammation is through the effect of something called the alpha granule inside the platelet. So what happens is these platelets then can uh, have, uh, they, they uh, as I told you, they generate a lot of even besides anti-inflammatory uh, cytokines, they also derive growth factors, new generation and repair of blood vessels, collagen production. They promote wound healing um, and they grow keratinocytes of the skin. So you see, you've heard of PRP now uh, being injected and people just call them stem cells, but it's not really stem cells. These are PRP is a, a form of a pre, pre, not stem cells, but it's sort of actually uh, injecting your body with your plasma and your platelets. So people are using them for skin regenerative uh, treatments for baldness, uh, but we use them for the joints. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. So basically what happens is when the platelet is activated, the alpha granule gets activated, releases about, about more than 400 anti-inflammatory mediators. And you know it's a very complex and very dramatic uh, reaction which happens in the body. So it also reduces bad and harmful cytokines and improves good cytokines and also improves wound healing and regeneration. So let's talk about the process. This is an office-based process. We have a very simple centrifuge in the clinic. Basically, the blood is drawn and placed into that centrifuge and spun down. Then you can see the yellow fluid on top, that's the plasma. You can see the white cells in between, that's the buffy coat, and the red cells, which are uh, you know, collected at the bottom. So what happens is our nurses then take this um, and through a kit, which is available, just the plasma is separated. And this plasma is full of platelets. The platelets have to be concentrated to at least two to three times what's in our human blood level. So if our human blood level is 150,000 platelets, it should be at least, or 300,000. We need to see about a million platelets uh, per ml in these, uh, you know, per cubic uh, millimeter uh, in, these, um, in this plasma. So that plasma is then injected under strict aseptic precautions under ultrasound guidance into the joint. So many, many studies have shown the benefits of treating this for osteoarthritis in treating, our, and then, you know, we have, we have studies comparing it to hyaluronic acid, which is the traditional oily based injections, which are uh, used for treating osteoarthritis of the knee. But the play, PRP seems to have some regenerative and, and healing potential and lasts much longer than the hyaluronic acid. We also see that's more effective than placebo or sham injections, more effective than steroids. Definitely works much better than steroids and it's much more longer lasting. So um, it also is used for tendonitis. This is an Achilles tendon in the back of the ankle. And after injection, this really, all this red stuff is the inflammation which really settled down and healed. This is again a very complex slide. On the left side, you see a normal joint. On the right side, you see a joint with a lot of inflammation and, uh, and degeneration. So we start off with uh, talking about rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis itself, uh, which is my area of speciality. But even in osteoarthritis, there is inflammation. So the most inflammatory condition is something we see in hemophilia, 
which is a sort of bleeding disorder where the patient keeps bleeding to the knee and the knee gets destroyed over time. And studies, initial studies of uh, injecting PRP in these joints showed amazing benefits. Um, we actually had a patient, uh, such patient who injected the PRP and did extremely well. I have published this, a case series, a review of literature of using PRP for treatment of patients with rheumatoid arthritis who had very chronic, um, uh, sorry, very chronic inflammation, which wasn't getting better with their medication. Here's a patient who had, uh, this is a wrist joint. You see on the left side, all the red, which is the inflammation. Uh, didn't settle with all the medicines we were using, a lot of immunosuppressants injected with steroids. We had given our oral steroids. And on the right, two weeks after PRP injection, everything settled and she remained symptom-free and her wrist was cured even two years after this injection. Similarly, this is the knee joint on the left of a patient who has a lot of inflammation and swelling and three weeks after PRP injection, this fluid is resolved. Again, this patient had, has been on biological drugs for rheumatoid arthritis, steroids, steroid injections, failed everything and really responded well to platelets. So PRP, does it work? Yes, definitely it works. In our experience, we've had amazing results and, um, you know, uh, I find that it's very beneficial for both osteoarthritis, tendon injury, shoulder problems, knee problems, and also for rheumatoid arthritis. But we need to choose the right kit because a lot of people are using PRP injections. You can get them done for very cheap or very expensive. But um, the, the thing is that there should be a high platelet concentration in the plasma which is being injected. Personally, in our clinic, we, we used about 10 kits. We um, tested our own blood and we had it spun down to make sure that these kits are giving us the high concentration of platelets which are required for our patients. Besides this, there's also a, a more advanced form of PRP called GOLDIC. GOLDIC stands for gold-induced cytokines. As we talked about the cytokines, which are these proteins which reduce in the inflammation and help the immune system to behave better, what happens in, PR, in GOLDIC PRP is the blood is withdrawn as before, but instead of being injected directly into the joint, it is incubated with gold particles. And these release even more cytokines into the plasma that's then refrigerated and injected into the joint. And we're seeing much even more enhanced benefits from GOLDIC PRP as compared to normal PRP. So um, let's go talk about the real stem cells, which are the mesenchymal stem cells. And these are actually taken out from your bone marrow, from your back, or from your fat tissue. So this is a bone marrow kit. It's quite painful, as you can see, and it's, it's uh, done for advanced cases. Doing a stem cell injection is actually very expensive, um, and it has to be really done and, uh, under a doctor who's very specialized and knows what they're doing. So either it can be taken from your bone marrow or taken from the fat tissue. And actually recently we find that taking your PRP from your fat tissue is much better. So your, some fat is sucked out from the abdomen and this is treated in various ways. And there's not much difference between both of them um, and they work equally well. So they again have a lot of anti-inflammatory and regenerative and growth potential from these stem cells. Um, obviously they use being used in various, various areas right now. Um, uh, you know, for regenerative treatment, for immune system, and for your endocrine system. And they're being used in trials right now to study for your, for your heart, bone cartilage, nervous system, autoimmune diseases. So there's something called stromal vascular fraction, where the, this adipose tissue is just withdrawn and it is injected straight away, or an enhanced um, enhanced bone marrow, where it is actually cultured. Um, the number of stem cells are increased or multiplied through being cultured in a lab and injected after two weeks or three weeks. So uh, those stem cells work very well. Uh, we, we don't do them as an office procedure. You have to be admitted in a hospital. It has to be done in a theater. Um, it is much more expensive. And I would only suggest that it's done after PRP or plasma or Goldick injections fail. And that's the next step. What about intravenous injections of stem cells? Do they work? We hear about people take, going off to clinics and taking stem cells, IV. Do they work? Um, well, uh, they may work for some conditions, but in arthritis, there are several small studies. Uh, for ankylosing spondylitis, they have a small study of stem cell therapy, um, and they have some studies in lupus, but none of them have very convincing evidence. And I would not ask people to do intravenous stem cell treatments. These are expensive and mostly they are a scam. So what is my summary? Plas platelet rich plasma and stem cells. There is a lot of evidence for pain reduction in osteoarthritis and also for regeneration. 
We have evidence that it decreases inflammation and swelling in the joints, and it can be used in inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. It has to be done in the right way. Um, we like now to use PRP instead of steroids for inflammation and rheumatoid arthritis, and even sports people for tendonitis and tendon injuries, we hardly ever give steroids anymore and give PRP. What about stem cells itself? The actual stem cells which are taken from your bone marrow or adipose tissue that can be injected for cartilage repair. There's limited evidence still, and large trials are needed, but we are very uh, optimistic with our personal experience, our own publications, and our own research. Intravenous treatments probably do not work. Do not believe people offering unbelievable cures and results. Do follow the evidence, ask them for what their results are in the evidence, and do the right treatments which work for you at the right clinic. I would say start with the least expensive and then proceed. So thank you, and if you have any questions, please do comment in the section below.